What's up guys, Wesworld here from Wesworld Game, and today this is just a tips and tricks video on people using follow for the Vault Tech Edition. So I'm just going to show you um, one thing that I've been asked to make a video on, which is snapping your rooms together um, without any hesitation or without any hassle. So this I'm going to show you exactly what, pe what problem people are actually having with the rooms actually sticking together. So if I go into Structures and all the way up to Vault, I'm just going to choose my first one here, which is domestic. So let's say I want to. Actually, no, I just want to won't make it that long. So let's say I want to add a room onto this um, hallway here. And let's say I want to use um, the cafeteria. Generally, what people would do is they'd pick up the room with the one with the door and they try and stick it on. But unfortunately, it actually won't stick on. They will try everything they can. Unfortunately, just will not stick onto this. People are actually going all the way up as close as possible, laying it down, but it's actually it's just not going to be right. You'll always have these little annoying gaps. So I'm just going to show you how to actually do this. So I'll just pull this back a little bit. So the thing that you need to do is you need to go back into the, the room that you're the hallway that you're actually using. If you go all the way down to the very end, you'll actually see a selection for an end cap, which is this guy here. Now this will actually fit into the store, so you can see it just snapped on there, just like that. So now what you can actually do is that you can actually push your doorway of your selected room up against that. And you can see that it actually fits onto that perfectly and snugly. So now you can actually add on to this room. Another really cool feature that I actually find is I'll just add on to this room now. It's got to do with the lighting. Generally with follow four games, um, you'd have to run wires over everywhere and um, to kind of get the lighting perfect. But there's actually a really cool add-on for these guys and I'm just going to show you how it's actually done. So let's say if I want to run lighting into this building here, I'll just go back over to my lighting options. I'm just going to put a light up here. Now you can see that the lights are actually coming on straight away. Um, I haven't actually done anything. Um, you see that I actually just pre-built everything in front of you. I haven't actually wired anything up onto the top. It's actually done wirelessly by a small little conductor and I'll show you what the conductor actually looks like. It's actually this fella here. It's a vault power conductor. Now my vault power conductor is actually right over here. The idea of the vault power conductor is to wirelessly send any, t any electricity in a certain radius. Um, so I need a massive power conductor. So I'll just show you exactly what it looks like and where I've actually placed mine. So I've actually just placed mine over here. It produces 500 power and it just sends my electricity and um, instead of me running cables all over the place it just I'm not helping those guys now right so you can actually see so there's no wires over here so if I actually go into one of my uh, one of my layouts here and um, I actually have a sign up there there's no wires of lights in here I have everyone in here just relax and have a good time um, but yeah, there's no wires. It actually eliminates a lot of wires actually going all over the place. And it's actually a lot easier to build as well. It's literally just by putting down one conductor. I think I actually have a conductor over here somewhere. Or sure. Yeah, there is my vault power conductor. So just once you have this within a certain radius, um, it will actually just start putting up lights. Um, but guys, look, if there's anything else that you'd like to see, um, please leave a comment in the comment box below. And hit the like button. And I'll see you in the next video.